Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabuff.com, coming to you from a very warm Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Today, I have some really pretty cards to share with you. They are quick and easy, but oh, so spectacular. These cards are going to be part of the Creative Inking Blog Hop, and today, the dyes have it all. That is our theme. We are featuring dyes. So, where did my die go? For my feature die, and I'll be using some other ones for my cards too, but I am going to do this stitched greenery die. And oh my goodness, so, so pretty. I know that I've used this in some of my private classes, but I'm not sure if I've shared it on a blog post yet. So, I have some really pretty cards, like I said, to share with you. Let's flip this camera around and I will show you what I've got. Okay, like I said, we're going to be using the stitched greenery die. This is a standalone die in our annual catalog, and a lot of people missed it. It's right here on page 165. It isn't associated with any stamp set, so it's not a bundle. It's a standalone die, and oh my goodness, it makes the most beautiful little stitched images on your cardstock. I am going to be pairing that up with the scalloped contour dies, and they are part of a bundle. They go with the color and contour stamp set. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. First of all, I like kind of the whimsical images in here, but I love these funky little fonts. So, I have got several different colors of my card to share with you. I'm gonna show you how to make one of them then you can decide which one is your favorite. Okay, we have a card base. This is our thick basic white that's four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored that at five and a half. And just so you know, I will have a blog post associated, of course, with this particular video. You can always find my blog posts right here, or if you're on YouTube, you will find them in the description under the video is a link. Click on it, it'll take you right there. I share all the dimensions, a complete shopping list, what color inks I use, what accessories, what tools I use so that you have easy access to them when you go shopping. This piece of black is four by five and a quarter. This is basic black. And then favorite new in colors. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I've got a three quarter inch strip we're gonna be trimming this down and two white scraps. So let me set all of this aside. We're gonna do our, um, well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do our stamping of the flowers. Whoops, I've already got those mounted. Here they are. We've got our stamps mounted that we're going to be using. And I'm also gonna be using the Memento Black Ink. Whoops, I'm a little fumbly today, huh? and the Fresh Freesia. I'm going to ink up that funky little flower that has the stem. I love both flowers in this bundle. And I kind of go back and forth using one, then using the other, using one, then using the other. These cards today, I'm gonna to use this one. I felt like it was being neglected lately, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll die cut this first. We're going to stamp the color on the flowers. And one of the nice things about this color and contour stamp set is that you have a two-step stamping process. So you could certainly color these in with whatever kind of coloring tool you like, but you can also just stamp them. Please know they're not meant to line up perfectly. This is a very whimsy stamp set. So that is what is intended for it. Then I'm going to grab my dies. These are the scalloped contour dies. You get all of these scalloped rectangles, a scalloped edge die, as well as the daisy type flower and this flower die to cut out. So we're gonna grab the second from the smallest and we're going to die cut that on this basic white scrap. And then let 
me grab, I've got some temporary tape here. Washi tape works really good, but I like to hold these in place so they don't move on me. I do not want to have to stamp this again. Okay, so I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine. Um, as long as we're going to go over there, we're also going to use this stitched greenery. I'm just going to put my layer on here and run this through my die cutting machine. And you run this through just like you do these dies. You have the same stacking. All it's going to do is put stitched leaves all over your cardstock layer. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, the one thing I forgot to share with you is we had a three quarter inch strip and I just put my down here and this little strip right over here and ran it all through at once and look at that design. Is that not the, just the neatest thing? I love this. So we've got this strip is like that and this layer is like that. And then here is our scalloped rectangle. So I'm going to take one of my sentiments here and I'm going to stamp that right on the scalloped rectangle and then we are actually ready to put our card together. These are super quick and easy. These are the type of cards that you can mass produce because they're so simple. I've got my mini dimensionals here. They're going to work perfect on this die cut flower and you can see here that I like to cut some little strips out of the edge. The mini dimensionals have a really wide edge here and I like that for doing things like, whoops, hang on, it stuck to me. Oh, it didn't stick to anything. Oh, let's just grab a new one. I can't be messing around like that. People are waiting on me. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'm gonna do one more nice little thin sliver here. And I'm gonna put that right down here on the stem. I just wanna give that a little extra support down there. Okay, let's do this. Here comes our black layer. The black layer is just an eighth of an inch larger than my colored layer. Now, since you are embossing this entire piece or die cutting, putting the dies in there, I do recommend your adhesive all the way around the outside because this bows a little bit and you want this to stick to your layer nicely. So I found that if I didn't put the glue all the way around the outside, it kind of picked up and looked kind of goofy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that looks fabulous. We're going to take the inside of our card base and I thought a nice decoration for this would be just to carry that stitched greenery dye image on the strip to the inside. I thought this would look really pretty. Can you guys hear the hollering outside? There's Haley is here with Val right now. That's my granddaughter and Molly's here and they are out in the swimming pool. I told you it was a very hot day here. It's very close. I shouldn't say the temperature isn't screaming or anything, but it's just um, humid and real still. I had Haley French braid my hair today and um, I didn't even look at the back of it. I should have showed you guys, but it feels really nice to have it off my shoulders and up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put this right in the middle. I've got a sneak peek product for you too. I'm excited to share with you. And just hang tight. All right, here we go. We are going to put this right over here. Isn't that stinking cute? I just love this. It's a super easy layout, but I think it's just really um, sharp looking. Then here's my sneak peek product. This is our black and white gingham ribbon. This is coming out in the new July to December mini catalog or our holiday mini catalog. So excited about this. That mini catalog goes live on August 3rd. Make sure you get some of this right away because it is gonna be so popular. I just, oh, it makes me cringe, but I'm thinking that everybody's gonna buy it and it's gonna be on back order. So 
I have this on my order. I ordered three rolls with the pre-order. When you're a demonstrator, we get to pre-order. Maybe it was only two rolls, I don't remember. But we get to only pre-order a certain number of new products. And I got the max on the ribbon because isn't it just so pretty? And um, I think that this black and white gingham ribbon and then black and white baker's twine, they just really make things pop on projects. And that's why I am always drawn to them. I'm gonna curl up my mini glue dot and I'm gonna put it right down here on this flower. Now, isn't that cute? I've got one more great tip for you. You guys know that I love to, hang on a second, I love to decorate my envelopes, right? So what I did is I took the stitched greenery die I folded my envelope flat back because I want this to be die cut. And I have put my flap on here backwards and I folded it right over the edge, okay? When you do that, you're gonna end up with this. And here is our envelope flap. Is that not spectacular? Yeah, super simple. Now. This cranks through a little hard because you've got this extra layer right here, right? So you're kind of doubling up a little bit. Don't get, don't get flustered, just push it through. It will go through and it looks so spectacular. This is just a fabulous way to decorate up those envelopes. And then let me show you the other colors. We have pale papaya. Remember, you guys are gonna have to tell me which which is your favorite? Got pale papaya. We have polished pink. And daffodil delight. Aren't these pretty? Now, I was thinking I need a box for these because I love to give these away as a gift. So I think what I'm gonna do, I am on um, Facebook Live every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. I think on my Facebook Live, I am going to make a box. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make a box to put these in to give them away as a gift. So make sure you're there. Here's the name of my Facebook page. Go there at 7 p.m. on Sunday evening and you will be able to watch me make a box. Don't forget, click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And this is my current host code. Please use that to place your order. I always appreciate your orders. Use this if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. Brand new mini catalog coming August 3rd. If you don't have a hard copy of it, please get in touch with me. I'd be happy to mail it to you. We also have celebration happening for every $50 you spend in August and September, August 3rd through the end of September, you get to choose a free celebration item. Fabulous, fabulous time of the year. Okay, click up here. That's going to take you to my blog. Scroll down until you see these projects so you can join on the blog hop and see what else the Creative Inking blog team has made featuring dyes. Super, super fun. Go hop along. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I have a brand new fall Stampapalooza retreat. Info on my blog, go check it out. It is going to be an amazing online event. It doesn't matter where you live in the United States or outside the United States, there are options for you too. So everything's virtual. You get to sit at home in the comfort of your home and drink your favorite beverage. You can even have your pajamas on and join me for a virtual event. It's got a swag box with over $100 in Stampin' Up! product in it that's included with the retreat. Make sure you check that out. It's on my blog. Have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye.